Hey everyone, it's Pete here from Blocks Builder, and we have an exciting little video for you today. Uh, today's video is inspired from a user on the forum who has asked about hovers, and in, in particular, they reference this website here, where you have full-size hover, I guess you could call them blocks, where we have a full-size image, and as you scroll down, the cursor comes over the image, the image zooms, we get a tinted overlay, and some text appears and I've done that block after block and it's actually really straightforward to make this effect in blocks and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I have here a very basic blocks project I just have some um, filler content at the top and the bottom so we can scroll later and our main working block is this one here with one column in it and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a div into this one column to start our basic structure. Actually, I'm going to add three divs in here. So I'm going to add a div within our div, and then I'm going to duplicate that one. So we have a structure of a wrapping div, and then two divs inside that one. And I'm going to give each one of these a custom class. So our main wrapping div, I'm just going to call it Awesome Wrapper. Our next div, I'm going to call that Awesome image and our third div I'm going to call that awesome overlay right so that's our basic structure out of the way and uh, let's start styling now all, coming back to our awesome wrapper I'm going to set a width of 100% and I'm going to set the height to auto so you can actually just tap the A key there so you need auto pixels um, and the other thing we want to do under the positioning tab is we want to set our position to relative and that's really important for the overlay aspect to work without um, this needs to be set as relative and your overlay needs to be set as absolute for it to work properly okay that's it for the awesome wrapper and we'll go now to the awesome image right so we're going to set our width to 100% Um, just for now, I'm going to set the height to 500 pixels for us to work with, and then later on we'll change that. Um, next thing is our, we'll set our position. Uh, we don't need to we don't need to fix our position here. We do need to set our display to block, and then we can come back to our background image. I'm going to add my image here. Gonna have my size set to length and I'm gonna change the width to 100%. Right, then we have our image. Um, block, I think that's all I need to set for that one. We'll come back if we need to. Next is our awesome image overlay. Right, so we need to set our width to 100%. I wanna set the height to 100%. I'm going to set our position to absolute, whereas our main wrapper was um, was relative. This one needs to be absolute. And I'm going to set the left edge to zero, the right edge to zero, and the bottom edge to also zero. Coming to our background tab, this is where we can set our tint. And I'm just going to select black and um, I don't know. What do you think looks good? Should we just do 45%? You can obviously choose any color you like also for this. So we have our width, position, um, and one other thing I should have done in our, our positioning tab again is to come down to overflow and set overflow to hidden. Right, I think that's that for that one also. Right, with our overlay layer selected, we can now add um, some text. So um, I'm going to add an H. I'll try that one again. I'm not sure what just happened there. Let's add an H3 element. Give that some text. Now we want to position this text in the middle. 
um, vertically and horizontally. So one thing I might do first is let's give this text a nice white color. But we can come back to our awesome overlay and under positioning we can set the display to flex. So we can use flex to position our text here. Display flex which means we can now use our flex tools and we just want to set the align and the justify to center. And there we have our text in the middle. Actually there's a really cool uh, bootstrap class uh, for typography where, which is called display one, two, three, four, five. It depends on the size you want to set. I'm going to select our text to display and maybe call it four. Display four. Nice. If we preview this, there we have our image, we have our, our nice tint and we have our text in the middle. But what we want to do, um, what I tend to do when I'm designing these, is in the design mode like this, I have it all visible so you can play around with your design. But when you go to preview it, you want our over, we want our overlay and our text to actually be invisible. We don't want to see it. So what we're going to do now is start styling all that in our page header between some style tags. So we come up to our page header create some style tags and we want to set our awesome overlay and we're going to put the opacity to zero that makes it transparent but what we want it to do is we want no transparency when the mouse let's go and have a look when the mouse hovers over our main image, our main wrapper, we want the opacity of our overlay to change. So what we can do is we have our awesome wrapper. When that ho gets hovered, we want our awesome overlay Capacity to be one. Preview. I didn't get that. Could you try? And Siri wasn't sure about that either. Okay, so if we scroll over this, we should now get a nice, uh, very jarring hover effect. What we want to do is add a nice little transition to that so it's not so jarring. Back to our page header. We can do. Um, something like transition maybe one second ease in ease out now i do have another video where i've talked about hovers and this transition effect uh, which you can have a look at if you're not sure about those Okay, that might be a little bit too long, but we also want to have a transition when we come off rather than it just jarring like that. So what we can do is let's drop the length of uh, this from one to maybe 0 0.7 of a second. And we're gonna copy that transition also to our overlay one up here. Sometimes it's just tweaking these. That's much nicer. Okay, next thing we want to do on the hover is we want our image to enlarge. Back to our page header. And uh, again, we can actually copy this awesome wrapper hover. And sorry about that. I thought all my notifications were off. <clears throat> Things are beeping. Um, and we want our awesome image. And I'm missing the S. <laughs> so our awesome image wrapper, when that's on hover, our awesome image, we want our background, because it's a background image, we want the background image size to become 110%. Let's try that.
Wow, that's a little bit excessive. You don't actually need these um, enlargements or, the, or when you scale things to actually be much. So let's try 105. It really only needs to be quite a small amount. I reckon that's still huge. And how about we add the same transition that we've done here. Nice. So we also need to um, have a transition for when we come off the hover. So we need to create our awesome image class. And we're just going to copy the same transition. Nice. I reckon that's still too much. Let me just quit out of these apps that are ignoring my um, notifications turned off. Sorry about that. I'm going to change this. Um, where are we? Our image. I'm going to make our image move a lot less. Sometimes it's just tweaking, and I don't want this video to take too much of your time. Sometimes it's just tweaking things where maybe um, <clears throat> we want this image to last a little bit longer. I reckon we could try the image at one second. You know, you can just tweak these things based on your design and what looks good to you. Yeah, I like that more. That's more what we're after. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want our text here to drift up as it fades in. And we actually want that to probably fade in a bit slower too. So, back to our page header. We're going to come up here and uh, create a class for our H3 element that we put in. So, um, awesome overlay. H3. And the way we're going to make um, make that 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 drifting text effects is we're just going to add actually a margin top um, zero pixels, and we're going to give it the same transition, and then we want. that to happen on our, off, uh, on our hover also. Actually, I can just copy and paste this. So when our wrapper gets hovered, we want our, our margin top. Um, actually, we want that one. I think we want this one to be zero pixels. Just copy that transition. And I think we want our starting one to be minus, let's try 40 and see what that looks like. And have I got that going the wrong way around? So that should be zero pixels. And that should be maybe minus 40. I don't know. Uh, there we go. It's one of those days today. And I think we need that text just to be a little bit slower. So let's change this one just a fraction. Having these elements all work at slightly different speeds gives us a nice, nice sort of effect. Right, there we have it. 
So this is within a confined area at the moment. Um, and you can use this in all sorts of things, this technique on cards, all sorts of things. Um, but what we're going to do is make this a full size block now. So making sure we've got our block elements selected. I'm going to make sure that the padding is set to none for our block. And I'm going to make sure that our uh, block width is set to full width. And we need to, if we go and preview this, we'll find that it's kind of very narrow. But we want to make this block full screen size. So we can do that coming to our awesome image class. And if you remember earlier, we set the height to 500 pixels. What we're going to set this to is 100 VH, or 100% vertical height. Awesome. There we go. We get our hover, we get our tint. We get our, um, our text coming up. Okay. Well, hopefully that's helpful on your projects. Um, any questions around this, just drop me a line or any ideas for future videos, let me know. Have a fantastic day.